here's a video review for Make Toys MTCM 04B Rover, uh, their version of Streetwise for their Guardia slash Defensor combiner. Um, you see here he's a cop car, he's got his uh, guns attached. They just tab in to these little slots here on the side. And I will say, like the first couple times doing it, it's a little difficult because you can see there's nothing supporting this little panel right here. So uh, when you first try to tab them on, there's a little tab here on the side of the gun. Uh, and it just goes right in the slot, but you can see trying to push it in, it bends that tab a little. Um, and all you have to do is just support it with a finger or something, and you can clip it right in. Uh, just a little note there, nothing nothing major, just it, it does a uh, tight little tab the first couple of times. So if you just make sure you have your thumb kind of in this gap here between this chest piece and this, and this panel, it'll, it'll lock that gun right in. So yeah, here he is. Uh, this is a comparison with, okay, not to scale with Groove, but that was kind of the, the issue with the original G1 one as well. So, you know, giant motorcycle, small car, however you want to look at it. Now getting on to transforming him. Uh, it starts off at the back, and the back is the trickiest part of this um, because of the way these arms fold. You can see here's his hands and his arms are folded around. So the trick here is you want to get in under here and you can, cut, you can split these if you want but you want to get back here and pull this rear bumper up actually first off we want to open these doors open the doors from the tab and fold them down around like this on the ball joint here there we go untab this panel here And get this up and out. And once that's separated, you can separate these. And in the, the arms are tricky because you got to have everything lined up exactly right. This collapses down. You want to make sure that tab can go in this slot in the back here. But also, the arms themselves, and it's hard to see because uh, these slide on the these pieces right here slide up and down the arm. You can see the groove there through the arm. But when you're folding them up into car mode, you want to make sure the head goes all the way down, and it goes down a little further than you initially think, so the hands can fit in there. But also, the trickiest part is as you're folding this around, you've got this big cover here, and it's easy to miss that there's a little slot here inside the arm and a tab here. Uh, so you can see it there. You can see that little tab there. On, on this part of the arm. And when you're folding it up, you want to make sure that folds up in a way so that tab goes into that slot. And when you're trying to get it, the hand down in there, as well as get this rotated around, I, I find that you, you can, if you get it mostly lined up, it'll all snap into place when you collapse everything. But uh, you do want to make sure that that tab is on the inside, the hands are facing the right way, so they're kind of grabbing these screws. Think of them as grabbing these screws here. Um, and then have it, have it lined up. Make sure you bend it at this hinge and at this hinge and to get that tab mostly lined up with that. And then when you push everything together, it should all lock into place. But that tab does need to fit into that slot for everything to fit securely in vehicle mode. So you bring that up. This piece, like I said, slides down the arm and pops his hand off all the way across the room. We'll just pop it back on. As you can see, it's a little tiny ball joint there. You fold that down. And again, you got to pull this up, get the arm out here. There's a way to, maybe if you rotate the hand like that, it won't pop off, but this thing should slide down the arm. Like that, there you go. And then uh, once that's done, you can see this is offset. You want to push it so the, the black forearm piece sits flat against this panel right here. And then this panel folds around the arm and snaps into place to form his forearm. And same on this side. Uh, take that, collapse it against that, and then rotate this panel around and snap it into place like that. And the arms can come around to the side here. Do I have that wrong? Oh yeah, because that's the front, okay. So bring the arms up and down rotate them so the arms are on the front. The legs are all the rest of this. Bring the doors out to the side. Uh, lift up the rear light panel here. Uh, you can see here is his feet and that lets you pull 
untab the feet and everything from this point. And there, there's a tab on the hip. You got to kind of pull out here. I'm going to split the legs a little bit and pull out and untab this from the hip. There we go. See, there's a tab here on the hip that goes all the way up into this slot up here. It doesn't just sit right. When you transform it, it'll, it'll want to stop like sitting kind of right in this little area where this little groove comes out, but you need to push it all the way up into this slot. Otherwise, the car mode won't, won't form completely. So you bring these down like this. Uh, the bumpers flip down to form his knees. And then back here, the feet. Th these will fold up, and these are going to fill in the back of his leg, just like that. Now, the feet are interesting because you need to... One, the lights here, both the lights here, and you can see the silver strip back here on the back of this, and the lights back here. You get some stickers. Uh, you get this shiny silver strip that goes behind here that makes the lights a little reflective. And then you get two stickers that go under these lights. Getting them on is a little bit of a pain because there's a tab back there. Um, so you bring the legs down, flip the feet down like this. And then you can see there's a ball joint and there's a sliding tab. So you want to slide the light back like that. And when you fold the foot up, and here's where it get tri gets tricky with those stickers. You can see... Um, you can see the sticker on the back there is kind of getting torn up in the corner. Um, we don't stick it on all the way, get it all the way down to the base of this, that can happen. Because basically when you have to slide it back, there, where these two pieces meet, uh, that little corner piece sticks up just a little bit. And so if you're not careful sliding these up, and it helps if you, if you rotate them just a little bit down, uh, but that corner, and you kind of push on this, but that corner can catch that sticker. So be very careful sliding these back into place because again there's a tab back here and there's a tab up in here that interferes with getting the sticker on but that tab goes into the slot here at the front of the foot. I don't know if you can see it right there above my finger but there's a slot up there so when you rotate this around you bring the light down and you want to do this and you can see that you want to get that tab in there to slide all the way up into the slot so you've got to be real careful to slot this in in a way so the slot matches up but that sticker doesn't get caught. You don't notice it so much underneath there, but it, it, it can uh, rub up the sticker if you choose to use it. You don't have to use the stickers. They're still translucent plastic, but uh, just if you use the stickers, be aware of that. So again, flip this around and just try to be very careful sliding that up in there. And then rotate his waist around. And here you fold this back down and leave it up a little bit. Uh, right here is the lever that will pop his head up. And then you rotate this panel. You have to make sure the head comes up in order to uh, rotate this around. And this whole panel rotates around. And you can see that little head panel tabs in right there on the front. And then you close up the, uh, the thing and rotate his head around. And then collapse his feet back up into his legs on the ball joint. And there he is in robot mode. Lift this up a little bit. He comes with two guns. Uh, they combine to form one gun. Uh, if you remember when I was talking about Axel looking like he had half a gun, uh, here's the other half. Because this half that comes with... Uh, you get both of these halves with Rover. But you can see that this half is exactly the same gun as the one that came with Axel because you can take the other half and you can plug it right onto Axel's as well. Um, why that is, I don't know. Maybe another figure will be coming with the other half of this and they'll combine together in some way because it still looks like there's a lot of ways for these to combine into a larger cannon. Uh, but it, and if you want to use Axel's, it just it's just this half of, of uh, Rover's guns. Yep. Hopefully you push the gun all the way into his hand when you do it. And there he is with both of his guns. And again, here, here he is with Axel in robot mode. Let's see if we can get a little better focus on those guys and maybe a little bit more detail. So yeah, uh, very cool. A lot more red and a lot more black than the original Streetwise. Um, but he's got a ball joint head here ball joint shoulders as well as a hinge up and down here at the shoulder. He does have a bicep swivel there, uh, dual hinged elbows, 
uh, ball joint at the wrist, although a little limited just due to, especially if he's got the gun in, but just due to the wideness of the hands and the small little ball joint right against the body that's connected to. He does have a waist swivel, ball joint hips, thigh swivel. Uh, he's got ratcheting knees. And then he does have the ball joint at the foot, which gives you a lot of good, decent posability there. So yeah, all in all, like these are a lot of these guys are a little bit more straightforward than some of the other combiners we've gotten. Um, the only real issues with him is when you're full, going back into car mode, making sure everything's lined up in that rear end with his arms as you fold everything down um, is really the trick. Because once you get it all lined up, it's a nice, solid, secure vehicle mode. So yeah, like I said. Defensor, as, as I've said in several other video reviews, is one of my favorite G1 combiners. Uh, I always pair him and Menasaur off. I'm looking forward to having Guardia go up against uh, M3 or Diesel or Intimidator or whatever they called. <laughs> the fans Project called their uh, Menasaur. So I'm looking forward to that uh, very greatly. Like I'm, I think they're going to look great on the shelf. I got to see the uh, full Guardia combined at TFCon, and it just looks great. I'm a, I'm a big fan of it. I wish I wish he didn't have the red fingertips is my only minor complaint about Guardia. But yeah, nice little streetwise. Like I said, more, a little bit more of a departure from his G1 self, but I, I don't really mind it so much. He's a nice little cop car. Um, I like the fact that they gave you the stickers to make the lights reflective. I do wish it was a little easier to get these on without damaging them during transformation. It's always something to be concerned with. Uh, but yeah, once you know the trick of getting his arms all lined up, he really isn't a difficult figure to transform, um, and I definitely approve.